Hey, what's going on, guys? Cheers, Duff Beer. Um, let's see. Uh, this is going to be kind of a long video, so be prepared to kind of sit and hang out for a while. But what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to take you through literally my entire process. I'm going to take you through uh, Online Sales Pro where I create a sales page. I'm also going to take you into my AWeber and show you how I set up an email. And I could either add that to a legacy follow-up series or we could just send it out as a regular broadcast. I'm also going to show you how when I put the sales page together, how I link in a YouTube video, I change some of the format around, and how I build the whole email. Um, basically going to show you guys a lot of different stuff tonight. So uh, take some notes, pause, rewind, do whatever you want to do. But this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. And... Uh, but I also want it to be very educational for you because there's going to be a lot of information here. But I'm going to kind of take you through literally from soup to nuts. Everything I do from right after I shoot a video to how I email that out to my list to how I create the page that is going to be emailed out to my list. And also what I'm going to do on the back half of this is um, once I put everything together, I'm actually going to take the... Uh, the page that I create in OSP and I'm going to use that to make a Facebook ad. So I'm going to kind of show you all of that all in one video. It's going to be a little bit lengthy, but it all literally is going to work together and I'm going to bounce around a little bit, but you'll get to see kind of everything I do and, and how I do it. So I think it'll be pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to minimize my mug and we're going to get going. All right. So the first thing we're going to do in, um, one of the affiliate systems I use on Online Sales Pro is we're going to go in here to edit. All right. And I shot a video earlier today um, that promotes my primary business. And my primary business, in case anybody's curious, is Digital Altitude. Um, it's going very, very good. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of people being sponsored in uh, almost every single day. And I do that with a combination of solo ads and Facebook ads. And we'll get to see Facebook ads in a little bit. Now, first thing we're gonna do is, uh, these are all the other templates that I've used here. And just about every email that I send out in AWeber, in my follow-up series here, just about every single email has a video in it. And what I do is I use a template um, from here in OSP. And every, every time I send an email out, I basically just change the template around to whatever the whatever the topic is uh, that I'm talking about. So, in order to, I'm actually looking for a very specific template. Let me show you one thing real quick here. You see all these different templates that we have here. So you can kind of create just about every template that you want. So if you just go to page templates, and that one there, uh, literally this template right here is the one that I'm currently using right now. But obviously I changed the video, I changed the different colors, I changed the background. Uh, you have the option to do all of that which, with OSP, which is pretty fucking awesome in my opinion. And um, if you're offended by swearing, just click off this video now because I pride myself on my swearing and I love to fucking swear. So there you go. Anyway, uh, let's see. We're going to use this one right here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to change around this template based on the uh, kind of the content and the video that I made earlier today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change out this video. This is a video that I made a little while back about how I sponsored 100 people in three weeks with Digital Altitude. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to YouTube. And I already had the videos made. So um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this video right here, uh, Digital Altitude Promo 2, because Call it Promo 2 because I did some revisions after I made the first one. Um, one quick thing too, a little note for you guys, is you'll notice over on the right-hand side, you see this little kind of link symbol right here? Um, that means the video is unlisted. So it can't be seen by the general public unless they have the link. Um, other than that, most of my videos, you can see the globe, which means they're public. Um, which is why, you know, obviously a lot of these ones have a lot of views and some of these ones that I, I made probably most of these videos today. I was a busy little dude today, busy beaver, as they say. 
You know why? Because the wife was away and daddy will play. Kind of gave me an opportunity to get some work done. Let's just be honest here. Um, all right, so uh, we're going to grab this video and we're going to put that into our OSP page now. Really simple how you do that. Okay, so we're just going to click edit or you could click on the video itself. That's fine, either one. We're just going to grab this link right here, copy, which is uh, open Apple C or control C if you are on a regular computer or laptop. Come in over here. Now, real simple. Okay. How you start editing here is just go place your YouTube link here. I'm just going to double tap that, get rid of that. Open Apple V or Control V just to paste that right into there. Or if you have a regular mouse, which I do not, then you can right click and then paste it in there. All right. Now, as soon as I tap off, boom, there's the video, right? Just so you guys know the psyche behind why I put my family there is because in this video, I make a lot of family references and working, you know, working the business that we work in order to support your family. And that's kind of also, I think once we get into the Facebook ad, that's kind of the market that we're going to go after, but we'll get to that in a little bit. All right. So now again, this is, this is for my primary business, which is digital altitude. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to change some of this text right here. Okay. And real simple. All you got to do is just kind of click on it and you can start typing away. So we're going to change this around. Actually, I'm just going to get rid of that come back up to here. Now the question is, what do we want this to say? I think we're going to keep it stupid simple. I try to write titles that where if I read them, if I was like scoping out somebody else's shit or if I read them, that it would be kind of intriguing for me. So obviously you can kind of craft that however you want. But for me, um, you know, I, I want to I try to write stuff that I would be interested in. So, you know, learn how this family is able to live a lifestyle that most families only dream of. If I read that, I'd be like, OK, let me check that out. Let me see what it's all about. So let's see the text over on the left hand side, learn the simple proven system starting today, six figure earners are being created. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I think what we're going to do is let's see, learn the simple proven system starting today. Um, You know what we're going to do, I think I might come back to that, but we're just going to actually leave it as simple as that. Learn the simple system today. Okay. Now. All right. So instead of get started, um, what we're going to do is change this. So it says, let me in. Okay. And also, we're going to change this around. Connect with me. So kind of stupid, simple here, guys. But one of the reasons why I leave this blue is this is my Facebook link. Um, so you can see the bottom button where it says bottom button. Where do you want them to go when they click on the bottom button, which is right here, which is my Facebook link. So we're going to leave that as is. I just kind of changed the text around a little bit. So it says connect with me. Now the top button where I want them to go specifically is to um, the digital altitude video sales letter that I use here in OSP. OK, but specifically. Um, I don't want them to go to the capture page. I want them to go to, um, I want them to go to the sales letter because I don't want to, well, actually, you know what? Um, 
That's not true. I actually do want them to go to the capture page because I do want to get their information and I want to get them to land in, eventually I want them to land in my Aweber account. So uh, I stand corrected. We do want to have them go to the capture page. So um, only because I know that off the top of my head, I'm going to start typing that in here. And that is, that's the opt-in page versus the sales page. So we're just going to control all, control copy, bounce back, go back in here and top button, double tap that, get rid of that, control V, paste it in there, boom, good to go. Now the bottom text, $1 trial, that's what we have. Test out the entire system two weeks risk-free. Okay, that's good coaching. Work side by side with a six or seven figure business. Work side by side with six, seven figure business coach. All right, I'm gonna simplify this even more because what we wanna do guys here is we like stuff clean and simple. Work side by side and we'll even clean this up just a little bit more. Side by side with a screwing it up here, screwing it up. And we will not pluralize that. Okay. All right, there we go. And you know what we'll do is we'll even get rid of this guy up here. Gonna tap into that. All right, so every time you tap on it, it always wants you to change the color. There's really no need. So let's see, there we go. Nice and clean, right? Work side by side with a six figure business coach. Simple, simple guys here. We like simple, no need to overcomplicate stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of this top line here. One of the things I like to do, again, we're gonna take a little extra time when we do this, but um, sometimes when you capitalize the first letter of every word, it's just a little more attention getting, and that might seem a little monotonous or a little tedious to some folks, but uh, for some reason, if you just scroll through a lot of good marketing out there, whether it be online or in print or wherever it is, uh, this is often, a pretty common practice but it's something that I don't do all the time but I like to do sometimes so again to each his own if you decide that you want to do this go for it but for me I think it's pretty cool and I think it just it kind of just stands out on the page a little bit more in my opinion and since I'm the one shooting the video we're gonna go with my opinion let me just move this guy over here. All right, you know what? Um, as I'm looking at this, I'm, I'm, I'm changing my mind. So we're gonna do this. Discover how to create a six figure salary in just 90 days. All right, simple, right? Everything's clean, learn the simple proven system starting today, let me in, connect with me, dollar trial, boom. So we are good to go. Now, because I chose another template here, guys, uh, all we need to do is we're going to save this and instead of saving it on top of the other page that I had there, what we're going to do is we're just going to, um, I'm going to leave Aweber in the title only because I could change it to something else. I'm just going to leave Aweber in the title because this is going to be part of my um, email marketing campaign. So I'm just going to change this to, um, we'll just call it DA. Um, promo vid or video, DA promo video. Okay, boom, save that, boom, it's good to go, rock on, and the page is done. 
And if we want, we can even go up to live preview and then we can check it out. And this is what it's going to look like right here. And then you can see that's the video right there. So this is what it's going to look like when people are looking at it. I think it's pretty clean. It's not uh, junked up too much. And, um, you know, there's not a lot of crazy fluff on here. The message is pretty direct. And if we want, we can even test it out. Make sure, yep, that goes to the sales funnel. So that's good there. Great. And we just want to test this out and make sure this goes to Facebook. And it does. Boom. Look at my son. What's up, buddy? All right. So that's cool. We'll X out of that. And we're good to go. Okay. Now, now that our custom page is done and we can jump in here, we can see that. Boom. Look at that dashing guy right there. What a stud. All right. So now what we want to do is we're going to, all right, we're going to sidestep for a second. Most of you on your either MacBook, laptop, somewhere, wherever you're working, wherever you're creating your content here, you should have some kind of clip image software. So I know for uh, the MacBook that I'm on here, uh, you can just go into Launchpad, Other, and then there's this little kind of pair of scissors called Grab. Okay, um, and we're just going to go up and we're going to go capture. We're going to take a selection, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just get a little clip of that template right there, and you're going to see where this is going to come into play a little bit later. So it saves that image, and all I'm going to do is do oops, DA promo capture. That's going to save that to my desktop. We're going to come back and use that in a little bit. Actually, you know what? We're going to use that right now. All right. This guy's right here, I-M-G-U-R, or uh, I guess you can call it imager.com. This is a great free site that I would highly recommend if you guys are using email marketing. Jump right in here and use this site. Sign up for a free account. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just go up to your username, click Images, and you can see I have a whole bunch of other images. All of these images that you see here are all in my email follow-up series. Every single one. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add an image. And we're going to basically just upload the image that I just took. So just go down here to desktop. Boom. Okay. And I think we called that DA, DA Promo Capture. Bam. Just wait for that. And boom, there it is. Okay, so we're going to come back and we're going to get that in a little bit. Now, we are going to go over to our follow-up series. And you guys are going to watch exactly how I craft an email. And we have two options here. All right, one, this is our legacy follow-up series or my legacy follow-up series with my primary business. It says DA Secret System. So anytime somebody logs into... Um, my sales funnel, they end up with these follow up, uh, this follow up series of emails. Now, when we create this message, we could send it out as a regular broadcast and just send it out whenever we want, or we could add it to this follow up series. Now, I already have 18 or actually 19 emails in this follow up series, so I'm really not looking to add any more. But what I'm going to do is just kind of Actually, I'm just going to create the message and we'll figure out what we're going to do with it by the time we get to the end of the message. Now, so if you have, I'm not sure what to do here, guys, if you have GetResponse, if you have MailChimp or any of that, but I'm sure a lot of these systems are, are fairly similar, but let's just go to creating the message. And I'm going to create this message just like I create every other message so you guys can see the same exact format that I use and how I use it and why I use it. I'll kind of talk you through that All right now. So create message, drag and drop email builder. This is the easiest thing to do for me. Okay. All right, so this is the basic template that you're given. Now, subject line, I kind of like to fill this in last once I have the whole body of the email in because as we're starting to create stuff and I'm typing words and I'm typing phrases and sentences, I start to get ideas. So even if you put a subject line in here in the beginning, you might go back and change it. So usually that's one of the last things I do. All right, so first thing, Get rid of this. All 
All right, little trick I did there just by spacing out the dots. Again, just kind of keeps it a little more open, a little more clean. Again, it's all about being clean and simple. So first thing I do on every single email that I send out is I just, I put a headline in. Sometimes I don't even know what the headline's gonna be, but we'll figure that out. All right, so headline's gonna go there. Then we have a little bit of text in the paragraph here. All right. Then we're going to put an image. Oops, do that again. We're going to put an image in here, which is that image that literally we just had that uh, we created and put over into Imager. Then we're going to have a little more text down here. And then we're going to have another image. Okay. So for me, let me just put some text in here just so I know I can see it's there. Now, the last thing I put at the end of every single one of my um, emails that I send out is my Facebook information. So we're just gonna grab that real quick. This one's easy to do. Just get the image, go up into Facebook. I already have an image that I made. So boom, there it is. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to shorten it or make it a little smaller. And I also like to see, there we go. We want it centered, just looks a little better. So about that size is always good. All right, now for the other image, let's go grab this one. So see right here where it says image URL, that's what we're going to get from Imager. So we're going to go up here. We're going to click on that image that I just got. Hmm. Hang on. Sometimes the site acts a little funny. I will say that. So this right here, direct link, this is the one we want. So just double tap on that. Control C to copy it. X out of that. We don't need that anymore. Come back over here. So image URL. Double tap that. Get rid of that. Control V. And boom, look at that. There's the image. We are good to go. Now, what we want people to do is, this is pretty cool because people could kind of see that they're going to watch a video, which I like. And what we want to do is we don't want to send them to my sixfigurebusinessplan.com. Six That's my main primary website. What we're going to do is go back over to OSP and we're going to grab this link right here. Okay. So we'll control copy, control C, come back over here. Get rid of that. Control V, paste it in there. Boom, good to go. You see the little green arrow or the green check mark right there? That means it's good, good to go. All right, now, now what we gotta do is we gotta come up with a headline. Let's see, what should we, what should we do? Um, I think what we'll do is pretty much gonna take it right out of this picture right here. Um, Let's make sure we do this right. All right. Now, the only thing is, see how it's over on the left-hand side? I'm just gonna center that. Well, it didn't really help all that much. that yeah look at that see isn't that, isn't that a little cleaner we like clean here folks keep it clean keep it stupid simple don't overcomplicate it all right all right now hey Daniel here again I'm just kind of freeforming this so um, if you guys think that I had some crazy awesome thing like ready to go and crafted for you uh, I totally don't I'm just winging this with you so you guys can see my entire process again I know like I told you from the beginning this video is going to be a little bit long but I wanted to take you through exactly step by step literally exactly how I do this and kind of what my thought pattern is and you guys can hopefully get some good golden nuggets out of this and figure out what you want to use what you don't want to use and and hopefully this will be helpful for you so I'm just going to keep this real simple. No, 
Oh, I don't even know if I want to put that. Let's see. All right, so there we go. Now, one cool little thing that I like to do is, uh, let's see, we already used this. So here's a website that I kind of already have saved as a, as a frequently visited. Um, if you guys go to Google and you just type in the word symbols, um, we'll even, I'll just do it now for you, okay? Just to show you, even though we're already on that page, but. So just type in the word symbols, and this is usually one of the first ones that pops up. You can you click on a lot of these, but this is the one that I've been using here. And sometimes having these cool little characters are always, um, always good. Wait for that to load, and just again, click and drag that, control C to copy it, or if you have a mouse, just use your mouse. And we're gonna come back in here and uh, and we're going to paste. Now, I don't know why Aweber does this weird thing. Whenever you uh, paste something in there, it kind of doubles it, which is odd. And the only thing I like to do, because it does paste a little small sometimes, is I'll bold it. And then I'll just kind of blow the font up a little bit. And it doesn't really get huge, but it's all right. So see what I'm talking about here? The arrow points down. They click on the video. They watch the video. Pretty simple. Um, all right, now... Again, guys, real simple. Hope you enjoyed that video. All right, cool little trick again here. Two equal signs and an arrow. Then I put the word here. I'll, I'll leave a little space, a little space. Oops, the other arrow, and then two more equal signs. Now, what's cool is we can click and drag that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create like a little hyperlink. But in order to do that, I gotta go into I gotta go get this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually give people the sign-up page. So whatever your primary business is, um, you can use that. So that way if people are ready to get started, they could literally just go right to the sign-up page here. Oops, let's get the whole thing. Ah, damn it. There we go. Again, control C, go back into the edit messages, control V, boom, wait for the little green check mark, boom, good to go. So now we have a hyperlink. All right, now, let me just see.
All right. So, guys, that's it. I mean, we like to keep these these stupid simple, right? So, um, this is nice and clean. Learn how this family is able to live a lifestyle that most families only dream of. And then, it's see how everything's evenly spaced out. What's good about that, so both sections here are nice and evenly spaced out. I don't cram it all into a paragraph. What's good about that is when people watch this or they're scrolling through on a mobile device, it's very easy to read and it's kind of very user, very user friendly. And um, so whether you're looking at it you know, on your email, on a desktop, a laptop, an iPad, an iPhone, when you get this email, it's going to be pretty easy to read. Now, the last thing we want to do, obviously, we got to give it a subject line. And also, what we're going to do is we're going to go to preview and test. You always, always, always want to test your emails out before you send them out. You want to double check for spelling errors. Um, one of the things that I like to do is read my emails out loud. Um, just because, you know, the last, thing you, the last thing you want to do is send an email off to hundreds or thousands of people that has a spelling error. Or, in a, you know, there's a phrase in there that just doesn't read right. You just don't want to do that. So always, always preview and test your emails ahead of time. Now, we need to give this a subject line. The question is, what the hell am I going to title this? Because um, obviously you want your open rates to be good. You want to give it a title that people are going to want to click on. So if you have thousands of people, you know, you obviously want to try to have a good opt-in rate. Um, but I would say on average, you know, opt-ins are about 10 to 15%. Um, so if you have a list of 10,000, you know, you might get 1,000 or 1,500 people that open your email. So let's see what we're going to do. You know what I might do? I'm just going to keep it stupid simple again. Watch what just happened today. Watch what just, what just happened today is I made a video and hopefully they'll watch it. Now, let's go over here to preview and test and send test. That's gonna go to my Gmail account right there. So sent, we'll just wait for that. <laughs> and there it is, boom, bing bing. All right, now, so we're going through here, okay? And you can see Everything looks good, nice and clean. Learn how this family is able to live a lifestyle that most families only dream of. Hey, Danny had a shot a video earlier today. I never realized that just a few months ago, our family would be in the position we are today. We are truly blessed to have found this amazing system that has helped us out in ways that we couldn't even dream. See what I'm talking about here. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you're ready, take action and make a change in your life. Get started here, okay? Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or I can help you in any way to your massive success. Now, the only thing we want to do is once you have the email, obviously you want to test your links, make sure they work, okay? So we're testing out Facebook. Oh, look at that. See, we found it. We found an error. I fucked up. I didn't change the Facebook link there. All right. So we'll go back to that. Let's check this one here. All right, boom. That one's good. All right, cool. So how do we fix that? We're gonna go back, tap on the image. Yep, look at that. Now we'll get rid of that. Oh, look at that, huh? <laughs> Came up automatically, that's good. Cool. So sometimes what I would do is I would actually just run another preview and test again, but obviously we can see that that link is good, so I'm just going to save that. All right, now, save and exit. Boom. Give me one second. <clears throat> Had to take a sip of my beer. All right, so now once your email is crafted and made, you can do... One of two things, you can just send it out just as it is, or you can add it to your legacy follow-up series. So you just click on send options, schedule a broadcast, or add to follow-up series. Now, we already sent a test email, so we don't need that one. I'm not going to add it to my legacy follow-up series, but um, this is 
the way that I crafted the email is also kind of not what I would have in a legacy follow-up series. In a legacy follow-up series, sometimes I have a lot more value. So the email would be structured a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to schedule a broadcast, okay? And in order to do that, who should receive this message? Right now, it's going to go to the DA secret system. So what we could do is I could, I could literally send it to everybody, but I don't want to do that because it's digital altitude based. So I don't want to go sending it to my OSP list, my MLSP list. I don't want to send it to everybody. I just want to send it to my DA list, which is about 5,000 uh, subscribers. So we're just going to leave that as is. Now, when should I send the email? I can literally send it right now, but that's not what I want to do because literally it's almost 11 o'clock at night and there's not a lot of people that are going to read it right now. So it could kind of hang out in everybody's inbox for a while. So what we're going to do is today is the 7th. We're going to go to the 8th and we're going to send it out at 5 o'clock in the morning. Now, the reason why I'm choosing 5 o'clock in the morning because you get most people before they wake up, which is really good. And that way when people are getting out of bed, usually, I know for me and my wife, one of the thing, first things that we do when we get up in the morning is we check our phones. And yes, that is an addiction, folks, but that's where we're at in society today. So uh, 5 a.m., we're going to schedule that for the next day. Hit apply, and you can see schedule message for Saturday, October 8th at 5 a.m. Hit schedule. Wait for it. Wait for it. And boom, good to go. So you can see it says scheduled. All right. So other than that, we are good to go. We have crafted our template and we have scheduled it to go out in our Facebook message. Now, what we want to do is I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to put it into a Facebook ad um, and see how that works. All right, guys. Uh, good morning. Um, I'm still drinking my coffee here. Um, the last part of that video that I was recording last night, in case you don't remember, like the whole background back here was all dark and I was wearing just my, my T-shirt. But um, I had to do the video in two different seg segments because Facebook froze up last night. I was, I was trying to create the ad. And although I thought I could, um, I could keep it going, it just it kept pausing and pausing. So I had to pick back of it back up this morning and finish this video for you. Now, realistically, I could do two different segments, um, but again, I want to show you guys basically my entire process. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna work my business, this is pretty much everything I do and I try to do in like one day, or sometimes it might be two days depending on how much time I get, because you guys remember, uh, if you saw the webinar with me and Nick um, that we have on YouTube, um, I had talked about, you know, basically when I put my son down to bed, uh, that's when I go to work, so it could be anywhere between 45, 60, you know, 45, 60 minutes, sometimes an hour and a half, sometimes longer, depending on what I'm doing, um, but, um, you know, so from video creation to getting the email out to creating the sales page to put in the email marketing, and then um, you know taking that same content, which is what we're gonna do now, I'm about to show you with the Facebook ad, uh, putting a Facebook ad together. So if I can do all of that you know, in about an hour, basically like this video is gonna be close to an hour, maybe a little more, um, you know, that's, a, that's about you know, a one day process for me. So you guys will kinda get to see that entire thing, like I said before, from soup to nuts. So I'm just gonna forewarn you, bear with me a little bit here when we go through the Facebook Facebook ad portion, Facebook has is being just a little bit of a douchebag this morning, and it's being, I don't know if you guys can hear my son, he's watching Mickey in the other room, um, but um, yeah, Facebook's being a little bit of a douchebag this morning, so hopefully it won't be too slow, um, but let's get to it, and we'll get this video wrapped up so you guys can uh, get on with your day. All right, now, so we're going to place the ad, we go over here to this little drop down menu, and this is exactly, oh, fuck, dude. This is exactly what I'm talking about. It's just, anytime you go to do something, it just doesn't want to work. I don't even know if I can finish this video today. And I've, ch I've, I've tried to because 
I've just gone to like other websites like, you know, Online Sales Pro works fine. I can come over here to YouTube. I can probably go back to, let's go back home. So yeah, I mean, shit, YouTube's working fine. All the other web pages are working fine. My Wi-Fi is working fine. It's just Facebook that for some reason today is just being stupid slow. Anybody want to go to a yard sale? I think I'm good. Drop down. Boom. There it is. All right. Create ads. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this going. Yep. All right. Good. Boost post. We're going to move through this pretty quick, guys. If you want to learn how to place a Facebook ad, I have another video for that. Go check that out. Uh, this one I'm going to try to move pretty quick because, again, I want to get this video wrapped up for you. Um, all right. So we're going to call this uh, DA, primary business there, digital altitude, DA promo video. We're just kind of testing this. I don't really know how this is going to perform. You guys are kind of experiencing this with me for the first time because um, I haven't added a video like I'm about to do yet. So I'll show you that in a second. So we're going to go with three different countries. We're going to go with Canada, A, eh? and the United Kingdom, as well as obviously the U.S. The U.S. by far is probably the best performing market for me and probably the best performing market for most. So those three countries, I want credit card in hand. I don't want 18-year-olds, although I'm sure there's 18-year-olds with credit cards. I don't want to discriminate. God forbid someone's feelings get hurt when they watch this. But <clears throat> what we're going to do is I'm looking, you know, this is a family-based post, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do typically people with families, and that's about, you know, 30 to 55 uh, I'm not going to discriminate men or women. I'm going to let Facebook give me the data once I run this for a few days. So this is my age demographic. I want English speaking, so let it autofill. Boom, good to go there. Now we're going to target network marketers and affiliate marketers. So these auto-populate guys because I've already used them. Um, if this is your first time placing an ad, this stuff won't be here. But for me, I'm just going to I'm going to just grab a couple of these. Multi-level marketing, affiliate marketing. I want to grab online advertising. And I also want to grab some people, so I don't just want um, kind of marketing interest. I also want to do folks like, um, you know, self-help like Tony Robbins. We'll just wait for that to populate. Boom. I also want to do folks like maybe Napoleon. Jim Rohn's a good one, obviously, for network marketing. Teve Harvecker, I've never used him, but why the hell not? We'll give it a shot. And then, man... <laughs> My son is really having a good time in the other room over there. Um, and Dale Carnegie, he's obviously got some good stuff going on. So affiliate marketing, Dale Carnegie, Jim Rohn, multi-level marketing, T. Harv Ecker, Tony Robbins, and online advertising. Um, I don't know if I want online advertising or I want online something else. Uh, you know, whatever, we'll leave it. We'll leave that. All right, now you can see over here the estimated daily reach. Um, this is going to change 2,200 to 5,800 people, which would be fucking killer if we could run that. I could run that if I did the daily budget. And also, one other, so two more things that we're going to change. Actually, three, sorry. We're going to go from $11 to $5 because I just do five bucks a day. Facebook is going to tell us. And so we're over 1,000 people minimum. That's good. We want to be there. Now, that's probably going to change again because I don't want to go to Instagram and we'll just drop this down and I don't want to go to the right hand column. I just want to be in the news feed. So the news feed on a desktop and the news feed on a phone. That's the only place that I want to be. It's just a little more natural that way and people don't feel like they're clicking on an ad. Like if it was over on the right hand side, people feel like they're clicking on an ad. Now, uh, one other thing that we're going to change here is when I get charged. So we're going to change this from impression we're going to change this over to post engagement because impression is when people see it. Engagement is when people actually click on it. Okay. So other than that, we're good to go. 930 to 2500. That's a pretty good daily reach. And again, um, we're pretty broad right now. We're going wide. And then after a day or two of running this ad, we're going to see what Facebook tells us where, you know, what age group is doing well, what countries are doing well. Um, even what interests are doing well, you'll have that data too. And then you can get rid of what's not working well, and then you can scale what is working well. All right, now we're gonna go, we don't wanna use an existing post, we're gonna do a new ad. I'm gonna do a video, okay? 
All right, now for the text. Typically, this is what's in like the actual body of the email or what's in the body of the post, like the actual wording that you use. I don't like to type stuff in here because for some reason it just never works out right. So I always have ads that are kind of pre-done in my notepad. So we're just going to come over here. We're going to copy this. And we're going to go back to Facebook. And we're going to post that. Um, so real, real easy. It's just going to have one quick line. Notice how I capitalized the um, you know, first letter of every single word. I'm trying to keep it clean. Uh, da, 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 da. So learn the tips that this family is using to spend every single day living the dream lifestyle that most families only dream of. Um, and then there's my, my bit.ly link there. Now the only other thing we're going to do is we're going to upload the video. And let's see, it's in documents and we're going to, this is called DA Promo 2. That's the one that we want to use right there. That's a minute and 29. So that's the one I want. Hopefully, if Facebook loads this for me, um, then we're good to go. It may take a while if it does. Um, guys, at this point, we're pretty much done. We're just going to load that video, which is exactly, I'll just kind of show you what that is just so you can see it. But obviously, um, that's the whole point. I took, I'll show you kind of like two different things here. Okay. So this little sales page, now this right here went out in the AWeber email, okay? So this video right here is the one I'm uploading, but I'm not, I'm not taking it from YouTube. Um, you don't want to take it from YouTube. That's this video right here with a different thumbnail. But we actually want to take it, we're taking it from our computer, so it's going to play the video itself. And then if people are interested, what they're going to do is they're going to click on this link right here, and then this link... Um, is going to take them, um, that's going to take them to Online Sales Pro to the sales page, okay? So that being said, uh, this is going to take a while. So I'm not going to leave you guys hanging, just waiting around for that to load because literally Facebook, like I said, is being a douchebag today. So this could take anywhere from a minute to, you know, 30 minutes or even an hour. Christ, who the hell knows? So we're just going to leave it as is. And other than that, we're going to place the ad. So Guys, that's my entire process, okay? So basically what happens is one of the first things I do is I shoot a video. I come up with some kind of content. So ILT, Invest, Learn, Teach. I find something that um, I, I read or, or went through and I want to talk about, and then I make a video about it. Now, specifically, the video that is being uploaded right now to Facebook is, um, is really just kind of a quick uh, one-minute ad that just gets people's attention and it's gonna get them to a sales video, um, which is the same thing that's in that, um, that OSP capture page, or that, not a capture page, but that OSP um, sales page that we created earlier. And the idea is to get them off of Facebook and to get them to some type of video sales letter or some type of squeeze page, which uh, exactly what that video does. It's just a, a one and a half minute video that just talks about uh, my family live in the lifestyle, so we get them off of Facebook and we get it into uh, the sales funnel process. Now, so I shoot the video and then I put it into the page so I can email it out to everybody. So I'm kind of hitting them from the email point of view. And then I go to Facebook ad and I create an ad. I don't do that with every single video, um, but I wanted to try that with this one here. Again, just so you guys could see that whole process and what I do, um, you know, when I'm working my business, so to speak, because a lot of people... Um, you know, when you tell them it's, it's about 45 to 60 minutes a night or 45 to 60 minutes a day or whatever time you can invest, a lot of people want to know, like, what is the work? What am I actually doing? Um, so that is part of, you know, creating the Facebook ad for my primary business, Digital Altitude, is, you know, I guess what you could call driving traffic um, to that opportunity. Now, the other way to drive traffic aside from a Facebook ad is to run solo ads, Solo ads can be pretty expensive depending on where you get your source from. Um, I have two sources that I use. I do have them in other videos, so I'm not going to get into that. But um, Facebook, you can, you can just kind of funnel down, so to speak, your target audience and just keep tweaking your ad and tweaking your ad until, um, you know, eventually you guys are going to get it right. Um, and, the, and the beauty of Facebook, I mean, you can just spend five bucks a day and split test a bunch of different ads, different pictures, different videos, and really get it down to, like eventually you guys will find something that works good, um, you know, which I've done. I've had, you know, ads that have run at like 
two and three cents per post engagement, which is crazy. Anytime you get below 10 cents, anytime you get below that, you're good. And to be, uh, have an ad going at three cents per post engagement is pretty fucking awesome. So um, that was just me experimenting. And eventually I found something that worked. So you guys can do the same thing. Just experiment, just keep going. And I just want to see real quick. Um, yeah, slowly getting there. It's taking its sweet ass time though. All right. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys got some value out of that. Change your mindset. Change your motherfucking life. Boom. You guys got this. Keep pushing. Keep plugging. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I will see you on the next video. And uh, I will also see you at the top of the mountain. Bye.